Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode five of my journey through group self-found Necropolis League. Still playing on my self-cast Exsanguinate Ascendant. Last time I crafted myself a new wand. Big upgrade from what I had previously. Got myself a six link, including an awakened brutality. And also worked in Death Rush that I dropped, giving me adrenaline on kill, more life gain on kill. So th that has me up to 9% life gain on kill, which is quite a bit. There's 2% on Blood Drinker, 2% on Cannibalistic Rite, and then 5 on the Death Rush. I also got the first two Void Stones. Oh, and I have new map favorites I can do. What are my T13 maps here? Throw in Arid Lake. The 14 maps, uh, I guess, Waste Pool. So the goal for today is to go after the next Void Stone gained from defeating Maven. If I can get Uber Elder in the process, that'd be cool. But we shall see. So what I want to do is spec out of all of the Kirax stuff that I have on my main tree. Let's see. Connect this through here. I need more unmakings. Uh, still 6% chance for Kirak mission on completion. I can connect this here. Remove two points. I got 19 points. I want the boss drops and that I would like destructive play. So if I want that, I probably need to drop shrine chance. So then, yeah, the gather tree, maybe it influence. Ooh, 600% XP. Still going to be getting more heist quest contracts. Yeah, time to up the stakes. Let's go. I really need to get some gear on Huck, too. I need him to be giving me a determination or something. If he's going to come in my maps with me. Augmented Distant Memory. Hello. Lilius Nivalius. I wonder how close I am to you. Having a full set of one of them. Blueprint. Three wings. Oh yeah, up the stakes. Destructive plays. So awesome. A little bit terrifying as well, but I got the life regen covered. So that's not an issue with Maven. If there's any issue, it's that like max everything up. I'm doing like 700k DPS. That's not the greatest. The map clear is spectacular. Baron Courthouse map. Hydra, Enslaver Waste Pool. Oh, yay, up the stakes. A double courtyard boss. Um, so that's a little bit of stuff going on here. Um, I think I got it. Got all of them. Phoenix map. And then I fight Barret. No way this goes bad. First, move the Void Sphere. My damage feels good here. I didn't put any crazy mods or anything on this, so. Oh, it's only a T14 map. The fact that it's even plausible to fight these bosses with this build still is amazing to me. Like, actually doing it. I got good duration scaling, so I don't have to have amazing attack up time. Good stuff. Enslaver's Sunken City. Hydra map. Blueprint. Three wings. Ivory Tower. Twisted Distant Memory. Baron Silo map as well. They don't drop identified anymore. Out of quest contracts. So I should go run the five that I have. Whoa! There's a Peruna in here. I did not see that Ice Nova coming. There is so much going on in here. I completed the map. Oh, okay. Just Peruna. Got it. Purifier Waste Pool map. Maven's Imitation. And yeah, I gotta bring stuff here if I want to craft that. I hate this so much. Alright, this is my 10-way Maven. No mods on it at all. Okay, well that thing's dying quickly. Just gotta get them cursed. I need like way bigger AoE on the Reap. If I'm ever gonna make Reap do anything useful, it's it needs the AoE. I mean, the Void Sphere having bigger AoE would also be good. So it could hit more stuff, but still, like, I feel like I'm making it through this decently okay. Alright, Restless Shade must have been added. I didn't bring him in here. Uh, something. Earthquakes. Something died. Just gonna keep pushing the buttons. Throw the, throw the damage down. There we go. A hungry loop. One Maven Splinter. Ice contracts. More likely to have high value or precious targets. Alrighty, back off to Heist. 
Let's see if I can craft some stuff up here. Stack some reduced raising of alert level. Level 10 determination. Yeah, I have haste on Huck now. Job speed. Counter thaumaturgy. Reduced hiring fee. Now on solid. Reduced raising of alert. Movement speed. Reduced ring cut. Astrolabe amulet. So one is found. I got a standard sharpening stone. It means I could make a determination for Huck. Or it could be pride and I just use it for extra damage. There's level 15 pride with lockdown job speed. Okay, not bad. I have the other three of Shaper Guardians, so I'm going to run those with Maven Influence. And that'll get me the formed, and then maybe I can do that. Oh, up in the stakes. Yeah, that's right. Um, Yeah, because I needed a Scorching Ray Totem on the corner of this room. Uh, Nope, now it's over here. Almost Malachi down. Oh, I lost healing. Awaken Brutality. <laughs> okay, I guess I have two of those now. Come on, Phoenix. There we go. Quality this up. Need eight more. It's only a minor upgrade, but it is an upgrade. I'm also assuming this gives plus one fish gems once they level. Chimera down. Just leaves Hydra. All right, and then Hydra. Up the stakes, Hydra with bad damage. I got shrines though, that helps. Uh, there's a Dodre. Oh yeah, I, I see. Big Rings of Curses. Maybe I got the others? Yeah, there were two others. Got them both. Got Dodre. So now it's just Hydra then. Good. Ow. Not having spell suppression is so yikes. The form is gonna be hard, to say the least. Okay, Hydra down. So I can fight Shaper, and then he has this for me. I don't put anything on it. Just do it. Okay, let's go. Start me with Minotaur and Chimera. Try and keep them on top of each other in the range of the Void Sphere. Do as much damage to these two before the others come out. Because it's going to get nasty. There's no way I get them. I got them both to like half. Uh, keep them all cursed. I'm hitting them all with the Exsanguinate. Have to be. Because of the crazy chains. The hard part is keeping the Corrupting Fever on them all. I might have gotten a Chimera. I think he is gone. Phoenix is getting close. I've done like half to Hydra too. I haven't seen Minotaur in a while either. Oh, I heard him go underground. Oh, he coming. Oh yeah, he's over here now. Phoenix though, dead. Minotaur is so close. Oh, Hydra's close too. Got him. Three splinters. And another Atlas passive point. Cool. Astral plate. Shaped astral plate. Not bad. Now for Shaper. No Maven influence. If I beat Shaper, I'll give the character some MTX. Right, what's up, Shaper? Uh, slam. Beam. And just keep putting down the damage. I got, I'm using the Reef more. It feels like my damage is definitely better. Once you get those blood charges up and keep the Void Sphere down, then I don't got to worry about the Corrupting Fever. Then just alternate between Reap and Exsanguinate. Phase one down? Cool. I died to the Uncreated. Dying to this guy sucks. You got to rerun the whole zone. Hit me with the big Vortex wind-up thing. All right, round two. Shaper. Oh, no, add phase. Oh, come on. I thought I was done with phase two. There it is. Nice. He lets me damage him off the start. For phase three, yep. And bait his slam right back on top of the void sphere. And now, well, I don't know what I was thinking there. I somehow forgot about the fact that the cold degen was going to show up underneath me. I was thinking, oh, maybe I can uh, just dodge the projectiles. It won't hurt that bad. No. I got wrecked by that. Alright, Shaper, let's go. Oh, you gotta replace the Void Sphere. Back to the alternate attacks. Oh, back to the Bullet Hell. Where? Down here. Slam. Okay, put down that. This. Sanguinate. Reap. Exsanguinate. Reap. Exsanguinate. Reap. Yup. Uh, put down another Void Sphere. Exsanguinate. Reap. Oh. Might still be in it. I'll replace the Void Sphere anyways. 
Keep going. When I can deal the damage, it's not it's not the worst thing I've ever done. Another void sphere. Okay. Ah no! There was a spot, but I was trying to trigger that one. Okay. Finish Shaper. So close. Nope. Add face. <laughs> okay. Finish him. Come on. There we go. I got gloves and a rot gotch. Saintly chainmail. Like mineral shapers touch too. I don't know if my character deserves MTX after that shaper performance, but got the gore body armor, maybe. Mischievous Hawker? Is this the new one? I think so. The gore body armor is like fitting the blood theme. Bestiary helmet. Gotta have red eyes. And a bandana. Some assassin's gloves. Fine. Automaton boots. Throw on the badge of skulls. Scourge weapon effect. Yeah, that fits f pretty nicely. Back attachment. Rapture wings. Make it obnoxious. Yeah, that works here. Cool. All right, let's see. Temple map. I'm fine with that, boss. Excavation. Castle ruins. Estuary. Ashen wood. Let's see. I've got... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, T10. Do I do a T9? Probably. I'm trying to keep my T16 maps that drop like open to all the possibilities, but the ones that drop lower are giving me maps I would be fine running. Go Maven, Influence, do another round. Need more boss maps. Ooh, XP with pack size. I need to gain my XP back because I just threw it all away. Fighting Shaper. I could probably grind levels out pretty quickly if I focused on it. But this character is actually performing better than I expected it to. And I am okay with being able to take down the bosses if I can get there. So I'm going to send it. Just sets me up so the next character is even better. A Vendiri Bomb. All right, I got to clear the map before the boss with Destructive Play or I get less bosses. Something I definitely have to think about when running these. No more quest contracts, it look like. Oh, there should still be one. Maybe the unique contract counted as one. Or T16 oil chests. Teal, teal, indigo, azure. Mm. Up the stakes. Looks like I only got one additional here. Well, oh, these maps with the bosses just kind of halfway through them. Enslaver map. Oh, got a purifier, hydra. And a T17 map. Maven interferes with players. No spell suppression. Monster spell suppression. No block. Contains runes of the Searing Exarch. Power charges speed. Outside of no block, it's not really that bad. Like, if you're an evasion-based attack build, that's a pretty easy T17 map, I think. I'm curious to see the new bosses, too. But I would also like the level. The rescue. There's the last one I was looking for. That might be all the quest contracts. Up the stakes. And this time I get four. I cleared the whole map first. Actually huge. Okay, one boss dead. Trap lady likes to run away. Oh, and so does the forgotten soldier. Cool. Drox reef map. <laughs> There's minor shrines all over the place in this map. Up the stakes. One, two... Uh, and there's a piety. So yeah, I got four again. Good. Uh, and all these bosses are a little bit more terrifying than the actual boss of this map. At least these three will stay on top of each other and let me kite them around a little bit so I can remove them. Except for piety. Piety wanted to warp away. There we go. Piety down. There we go. Another ziggurat and purifier. This one, all magic and normal monsters are in a union of souls. No damage for 4 out of every 10 seconds. Rare monsters have volatile cores. Minus 20 max. 80% life is ES. And 3 curses. Okay. Creates a steel ring. Requires at least one other corpse of the same name. Okay. Well, I'd have to find another one of those if I wanted to craft a steel ring. I do want to try and complete the craft that I've been working on. But part of me also is like, uh, I should probably wait till I can just force it on a base that I want. I think I got four bosses on this one too. Ah, got them. Defeat map bosses while under the effect of a shrine. Find domination complete. A waste pull is another one. You normally get halfway through it before you get to the boss. But then now I seem to want to clear it so that I can maximize destructive play. And yep, another four boss map. Very good. Oh, I guess I can fight the other three while Dodre is converting the room. Good. Maven healing. Palace Redeemer. I don't know if I'm capable of an Elder Slayers. The yeah, Underground River is a good one. Vault is a good one. Like, you have to clear both of these maps. Blueprint. Three wings. 
Almost full in my morgue. Over 10k ritual favor here as well. Oh, four sixteenths or a fourth of a mar blade. Or I take the scourings and re-roll. I don't know if anybody's going to be looking for an Eyes of the Great Wolf. Let's see. Synthesize Stun Duration Wand. Ice Contract. I see Shikari. Lord of the Hollows. Okay. And the Brian King. Again, I had to focus them, not the actual boss here. Just a shore map. Up the stakes. Uh, Skacitis? A restless shade it, it gets so crazy i don't i just don't know what's going on another redeemer map it seems to be the play though you need maps that you can full clear before you the boss or else you're missing out so much potential in them all right up in the stakes we got four plus the two unique bosses that spawn in this map let's go and being duplicated by maven also amazing purifier now i wonder if the ritual gets the destructive play bosses or just the two from the boss room looks like just the main boss there's only one of them ritual one to three white sockets omen i think i'll take that take some sinistral gloves purchase a ritual base with tribute cool challenge complete and i could roll this 10-way invitation rare and still only get one splinter so I'm just not going to bother with those. It doesn't seem worth the hassle to me to pull currency out of my stash just to craft the map and make it harder to where I die and then really not get anything from it. So, and then these aren't going to get harder and then maybe I shouldn't die in them. Oh, no, 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 no. Where is he? Get rid of Wode. No, 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 no. Oh, there's an egg. Oh, he got me. Oh, that attack hurts so bad. Oh, he got me again. Yikes. I think it's just the drop bear. It's that fell. And there we go. One splinter. Still get tons of gear. Knock out my last quest contracts. Crimson oil from Heist. All of those are done. So next round. Einhar's memory of crystal prisons. I think I got four bosses in this one too. So if, it, if it's like guaranteed four bosses, if I clear the map first, that's very huge for farming bosses or farming the boss maps rather. Ooh, I, I might have gotten the six extra smugglers caches. Blueprint. Still not one fully revealed. One will show up though. Another blueprint. Four more wings. Getting Huck in my maps with him just having that pride aura on. So much extra damage. I got four in this one. I didn't clear this map all the way. This is one of those ones that like halfway through you get to the boss. Hydra, Chimera, Baron, Ashen Wood, and Black Suncrest, 6149. Pretty weak ritual. Like the ES Cobalt Jewel, maybe? Apert Fossils, Expedition Scarab. I love seeing a shrieking essence with no essence investment whatsoever. It used to be, like, if I wasn't specced into essences, I would never click them because it's just not worth my time. But I'll click an essence for a screaming or a shrieking out of nowhere. Another blueprint in this map. Three blueprints. Huge. Ooh, patch notes are out. It's more like an essay. Yo, hook me up. <laughs> I will look after the map. Oh, okay. Flooded Mine is a halfway map for the boss. I think I only got three. Oh, and they killed me. There's no in-game timer for any kind of downtime for a patch so it could be a restartless patch because they've been really good at making the game in a way that they can like patch stuff without taking their servers down which is pretty huge for a live service game like this all right so i probably died because of oh, okay it could be rigwald but i probably cursed dodre and they got vulnerability reflected onto me and that's bad news Another Hydra. Okay, let's see here. So a lot of the stuff that was mentioned before, I need to release later today. So later today, I would imagine being in the next hour or two. So I want to start storing corpses that I don't plan on using right now, but they're going to get rid of that one Chaos Orb cost, so I've not wanted to do that yet. Remove the base type thing, ability to select base type, display the Increased amount of collectible corpses and all flame embers. 12 new all flame embers. Anarchy of the False God of Manifested Wealth. Syndicate Researchers. Syndicate Assassins. Syndicate Escorts and Syndicate Guards. Synthetic Fury. Trial Cores. Trial Guards of the Vol and of Breach Lords. Okay, 
So there's going to be more corpses and embers, more embers, simplified the modifier tier rating, tiers removed from grave crafts, so they'll always be max, buffed crafts, the socket reforge, link reforge, chance to craft additional item, I split copy, mirrored copy, values increased on devoted mods. So the strongest monster has a chance to convert to a currency or something. Now 100% chance. Improve the average quality of devoted modifiers by removing the lowest tier in maps. Change to haunted modifiers. I don't even know what any of these haunted modifiers are yet. So I don't want to read too much into that myself. Increased amount of breach splinters, legion splinters, omens and tattoos, tainted currency. Reduced difficulty of haunted modifiers throughout the campaign. In Ruthless. Nameless Seer is now less likely to have high value uniques to offer in map areas under level 81. That's important. Change to the Atlas Notable Passive for the Lantern of Aramore. More passive changes. Increases and reductions to haunted modifier effect no longer affects devoted modifiers. Slight nerf, but so much coming. Minimap icon for Nameless Seer. Now displayed a higher distance away. Maps will no longer be open when closing the Lantern of Aramore user interface. What that is, like if I throw the map in here, I hit activate. I see this, I organize it and hit close. Currently the map opens. User interface now sorted by type of craft then by level, making it much easier to find crafts that affect a specific type of modifier. Inventory is no longer closed when looking at the more user interface. Control F pops up your cursor in the search window. You can now control click to cremate a corpse skipping the confirmation prompt directly in the user interface. The UI for collecting a corpse is now less likely to overlap with another available corpse. Still got to block drops on the ground. But considering we might be able to just put them in a coffin, like as they drop, we can pick them up. Reduce chance for Undertaker to block doorways. Tier 17 maps can now be modified by Chaos Orbs. Okay, that's good. Increase the Quantum Rarity bonuses on T17s. We've also added various div cards that can be found in T17 maps in order to provide more a choice in which to farm. Despite only just moving the Void Divination card to drop from the Shaper, the Elder, and the Maven, T17 maps are a better home for this card. As such, the Void is now only found in the T17 maps, no longer from Shaper, Elder, or Maven. Okay. The Artist Div card is now in the Abomination map, along with the Harmony of Souls Div card can also be found there. Shield Bearer and Wealth and Power in Citadel. Dragon's Heart and Cheater Fortress map. So you can't get Dragon's Heart anywhere anymore. Wealth and Power, that's your T4 Enlightened. Dragon's Heart is the T4 Empower. Sucker of the Sinless Div card is in Sanctuary. The Innocent Div card can now be found there as well. Samurai's Eye and Lucky Deck Div cards are now only found in Ziggurat map. Nightmare of the Depraved Trinity, the Abomination map boss, set cooldown for their ball lightning skill increased. Blade Fall, Storm Call, damage reduced. Then Bug Fixes, Bug Fix with Animation Canceling, where you can become locked into an animation before the contact point, causing characters to feel glitty, or the feeling that inputs were being eaten. Yeah, I've kind of felt that I've lost some inputs from time to time. Fix the essence bug. You can now use your remnants of corruption to get the upgrade only ones. Looks good. If we're getting more all flames, I might actually have to use this. Oh, I triggered the boss before clearing the map. Thus, I only get two. Tolman showing up in here is kind of scary. Get it? There we go. Chimera. Ooh, somebody wants a bow that I found last time. Not the most amazing bow, but good enough to get somebody going. This is the, like, coolest part to me of the group self-found stuff. Like, that's gonna sit in my stash and I'm not gonna use it. If I were to play a bow build, I'd probably have farmed for something better than that. But there's someone out there finding value in it. That's so cool. For the most part, it feels like I'm just playing solo self-found. There's just these minor like abilities to like take some of the grindier stuff out of it right because the first six link that i found i gave away because it wasn't the colors i used and then i got the six link that i have from somebody else outside of the first awakened brutality 
Like, everything else has been solo southbound for this. And then as the league progresses, we'll get into, like, oh, you have this fracture item that I want to try and craft and build around, or, yo, can I get that Watcher's Eye that has the mods I'm looking for? Just not quite as grindy and not so reliant on good RNG. So yeah, probably if I was playing in SSF instead of with the group, it's possible I could still be stuck on a five link and not doing T16 maps right now. So it's cool that that like early league extra grindy nonsense kind of removed. Another Baron map. I feel like I'm getting a lot more Conqueror maps than I was previously. Oh, Morg's almost full. I should do that. All right, back to the Necropolis. So something I got going on here is increased effect of things in this bottom row. So let's see here. Caster mod rating. Very caster chance. Wait, does it not affect the row? Does it not go across, I guess? Hmm. Well, just throw all the caster stuff in here, though. And then Scarcer, not speed, not defense, not gym. We'll do Scarcer crit. Scarcer cold. Scarcer fire. Um, I still don't have attack Scarcer. I need more. Okay, here's a 50% attack Scarcer. I almost want to do physical Scarcer, too, even though I've increased the levels of them. Lightning Scarcer. Elemental Scarcer. Elemental. Fire, lightning, hold, tack, fire, another lightning. I have a couple of fizz scarcers. I want to see, like, I got 70, 50% increased chance of caster mods. Fizz mods tier rating has gone up, as well as caster mod tier rating. I need more attack modifier scarcer and manner modifier scarcer. Fire modifier scarcer could be useful as well. But then I wait for the patch before I even try and craft i guess i don't like have a full set of the unique ones i think i do actually have to do crit mods or scarcer i don't need crit on this increasing cast mods is going to increase some crit mods but i'm going for like big spell damage ideally fizz dot plus one fizz increased effect of corpses in this grave column i'm gonna put that right here yeah it's more fire scarcity attribute scarcity cold scarcity still a bunch of slots well this is a crazy combination with echoing shrine massive shrine makes the void sphere way better and the whole thing Hawk being here a little orobot with a level 15 pride and then crazy shrine effect and duration really good that's without scarabs i think i'm gonna drop some of the scarab drop chance i am getting a lot of scarabs i like that but i think getting the improved lab trials is probably better i keep seeing them and not wanting to do them and this would make me want to do them and potentially be very helpful and i still have a lot of scarab stuff oh meticulous appraiser still exists it's right here veiled orb acquired for ghoul oh my goodness oh this is crazy <laughs> ghoul got a veiled orb messed up a bow recrafted it exalted bow's fire additional arrow onto it so that bow is insane i actually popped the boss of the legion i got shrines i got huck just like crush a legion and i got the other side of it too i still have chains so far this is really easy to clear a legion seven splinters from the boss lots of rares too it gets a really good map it's a long decent density you can clear it all before the boss make sure you get the max out of destructive play twisted distant memory phoenix open stack decks challenge complete the hermit lookout is a good map for this destructive play a little bit smaller on the boss room but we got the damage oh well, there we go awaken melee splash and a dinger bait that's nuts <laughs> and then do another 10 way speed reduce some crits item quant Probably helps get awakened gems from these, so add something to it, I guess. I think I just start with these two. That's fine. They started on top of each other. That's helpful. I gotta move, though. Okay, they spawned another one. Duplicating. Oh, Pagan Bishop of Agony. Boss so dangerous, I, off the top of my head, know its name. <laughs> I didn't bring it in here, but dealing with it have not cursed it the entire time played it super safe i think there might be a malachi in here no that's the lookout boss that i just fought i think the drop bear is the last thing chimera 
Veritania, two splinters, Agnarod's staff, and a constrictor. So I guess rolling at magic was a good idea, getting two splinters. It has me at seven. I want to use this harbinger orb. Give me this maze map. Ooh, beachhead. Challenge complete. Put it in global. See if anybody wants to come. Highlight ring. 30 minutes. Hell patch. Yeah. <laughs> I've been kind of just holding my breath waiting because it's going to be so much better after this patch. So grind out the level. We're, we're so close on Maven. Otter's got this explosive trap of shrapnel doing a lot of damage in here. I don't know if he has a curse or anything, but it looks really cool. It's orange and isn't too much like a lot of orange things get to be in the game. Nice. We got a belt piece, annulment shards. Quiver piece. Okay, no, not a belt piece. Quiver piece, but a belt. Ancient shards. More exalt shards. I can also use the horizon orbs to make more maps that I'd be fine running. Awakened added lightning damage. T16 gets lava chamber, plateau, lava chamber, plateau, lava chamber, thicket. There's one. Plateau, thicket. I think vault is, should be in there. Arena, probably. Castle ruins is one that rolls. Lava lake turned into vault. So that was T15. We'll just got... Full dragon scale six linked and two other six links from one monster. Finding a smuggler's cache in my map is the greatest thing. Luck is amazing to have. And I haven't even really tried to optimize that. Residence is good for up in the stakes. Oh, Restless Shade showing up is always like, whoa. <laughs> that changes a lot of how you approach things. You kind of have to keep a good eye on him. There's a Twisted Distant Memory though. Ah, he'll come slamming you out of nowhere. Five minutes. I got an Eradicator. Patch has been applied. Back to it. 4% chance for Blessed Orb. 80% increased chance to find corpses in all flame embers. 4% Blessed Orbs. That's already a big upgrade off the start. Okay, so 500% increased chance of defense modifiers. Add this corpse to a filled coffin item. And it's just in my inventory. Good. So... There's no more. It's going to be full. I can just collect them and then go craft when I'm ready. Abnormal adversaries challenge complete. Bless storm. Tolman showing up in these destructive play fights is super scary. Baritania and a Minotaur. 400% quant. 40% chance for upgrade to rare. Improved offering to the goddess. Gotta go for it. Dedication to the goddess. That's for the corrupted gym crafting. Scarcer lightning mods. Strongest monster impact gets weapons converted to regal orbs. And one for div cards. Two regal orbs. First pack. And level 94. This level gets me what? Count is on full life. 90 or above. Which is kind of like 10% spell suppression. Synthetic Fury. Pack monsters can drop fractured items. That's good. I could get 3% more attack block right here. That's actually pretty good. There's 9% attack block right there. I should probably have that. I could probably get 2% more on my chest too. Yay, Jim's leveling a 20. Unleash, chain. All the ones I flipped will be coming. A note in the wind. Hazanath's mark. Drox map. And I got 10 regal orbs, which is pretty huge because I'm going to want them to craft heist gear. Eradicator. Weapons converted to chaos. Two chaos. So it dropped two weapons and they were converted to chaos. I see. So this one also, if it drops weapons, three chaos. Phoenix, augmented distant memory, six link ivory tower for otter, monster XP, kindling orbs, 150% scarcer attack mods. That's one I needed really bad. Vault pyramid, that's hand, razor of the seventh sun. Accompanied by a map boss, the pack is? Um, sure. Delirium mirror? Uh, I don't want to mess with that. If there's going to be, like, bosses, just... Yeah, there's Thraxia in my map. This is not your map. You give me boss drops, like Destructive Play? If so, this is about to be awesome. Yep, here's another one. Oh, he's going to slam. We're almost full again. Six fusings to survive this for a second. Sure. That's all I was stopping for. But yeah, just random map bosses all throughout. Still have yet to see a map come off of one. Been like four and about half of a waste pool. Oh, well, that's lovely. The Soul Eater boss from Spider Forest. 
that blows up corpses and never dies. Malachi, spinner of false hope with unresolved anguish. Is this going to be something crazy because it's not a unique enemy? Nope, just increased chance of defense mods. Ah, another even invitation. No, I don't want this guy in here. He actually hasn't been that bad. Just got to watch for him to launch lightning across the room. Yep, those archers still back here too. Finish this up. Two splinters. Hydra. I now want to go to my necropolis and let's look at this. Menu thing is now sorted. Hit control F and it, yep, I can start typing. I can control click here. Oh no, that put it in one of these. No, that's not what I want. What I want is to take the things that I'm not using at the moment. Just, yeah, put them in corpses, in coffins. I can control left click to bypass cremate corpse. Reroll base type five times. I think that's just being done away with. I can choose it. Now I have a bunch of corpses that I can just store. I need another increased chance of caster mods in here. Attack mods scarcer. Big lightning scarcer. Still need more. A lot more. <laughs> and I can do the twisted now. Fusing orb chance. Chrome orb. Ball orb. All right. Constrictor. Up in the stakes. Uh, Fire and Fury, It That Fell, and Rogue Exile, and Constrictor died before It That Fell. Altered Distant Memory. Alright, who do we got with the Eradicator? Like, uh, Fire Valenta, uh, the Crazy Traps. Wink, don't, oh, yikes. One of them died, okay, good, good. Now I can just deal with the traps. Uh, that was a crazy room. There we go. Twisted Chimera. All flame ember of the false god. Drops socket related currency. And drops fully linked items. My necropolis locker is full. Make all Nitol demons. Soul fight stuff. Okay, that's pretty chunky soul fight. What? Okay, so save the rest of those. Yeah, I am capped on soul fight now. Ooh, there, okay. Shock and horror in this one. Nothing to break the beam. But it, she just gave up after a minute. Augmented distant memory. Waste pool. And then there's the twisted in here. Ailment avoid impale. Oh, got enslaver and constrictor. Try and get them on top of each other. Mm, I'm not good against ignite. Keep them cursed. Keep them in the void sphere. Don't get slammed. Just keep focusing fire guy. Now that the others are out here. Because he's the one that's going to get me killed. There he is. Oh, he moved. Ah, I got triple blasted with lightning. Almost there. He's slamming. Good. I think I got him. Okay. Now I just throw the void sphere on purifier, I guess. I am better attacked against attacks than spells, though. So maybe I should be focusing the eradicator. Gotta watch out for the lightning, though. Is it just eradicator left? I think so. Uh, going into one last ad phase, which so little health left and there we go four splinters drox and phoenix hubris circlet atlas passive point well i'll just throw it into heart of the grove just in case harvest shows up i'm not blocking anything fight the elder and then maven okay drop my thing during cry fist damage and then ramp my reap up i've been told to use a vol reap i haven't gotten around to messing with that not the fastest kill oh making progress though should be phasing any time now there we go all right final phase let's go the reap up keep the void sphere i think i moved it too far that back keep reaping and keep hitting with that He's going. And there we go. Got it. I got a Nebulok. Fragment of Emptiness. Lion Pelt. Crusader Boots. Maven time. Maven's going to take my damage with her. Just not the Void Sphere. Oh, not Uber Maven. Easier fight. It's gonna take me a while though. Damage and all. This is gonna take a minute. She moves around a lot, so it's difficult to keep the Corrupting Fever up. And I also have to dodge things all the time. So I'm not even able to really like use 
reap to stack too much extra damage because I'm, every time I get near her, I have to reapply the other stuff. Because the reap is my source of extra little bit of damage, but I'm not even able to keep the corrupting fever up. At least I could have that on the nucleus. Yay, made it around three. I get can't use Void Sphere here. I, I need to use Stormbrand just for the Corrupting Fever. Because when I got the Corrupting Fever up, I'm just doing so much more damage. And then I don't have to worry about getting the Corrupting Fever up. I just let that happen. No, I died. Stormbrand. Hit Corrupting Fever. Put it on. No. Oh, oh come on. Last phase is so much easier. No. I got two portals left. New phase. Oh, I don't have the Corrupting Fever on. Now, I know I can make it through this part. All right. Now, for the fight where you just gotta be really precise, but without dealing with all the extra nonsense. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Maybe it was nice to me on that one. Ew! Oh, warp over here. Nice. Just let me do some damage. Yes. Ow, 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 ow. Just don't kill me with that. Okay, the fireballs, she's exploding on my Sentinels of Purity, who are always up because of the storm brand it's like maybe 20 percent left up right up left up right up plenty of time good where right on top of me good oh yeah that ignite though nice another easy one so right up right up right up okay right. where down no way up further than i thought now down here no okay last portal i gotta do it okay next memory game oh and i touched the beam right up okay she went down and still good i got good damage going on this time ah I think I might have lost the brand. I can't get close to her. Finally got it back up. Okay, back to memory game. About 40% left. Okay, left up, right up, right up, right up, right up. Hasn't made me run in circles. Cool. She spawned right here. That means I get the brand down. Okay. Ah. Here. I touched beam. Ow. Oh. I gotta whip. Oh, stall. Okay. Heal. Good. All right. Next time should be the last time. Up left, right, up, right, up, up, left, right, hold, up, right, up. Maven went here. Brand, I don't have Crypting Fever up, but so now that's being applied. And then... Start getting the reaps in. Another brand. No, 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 no. Okay. Ow. Mm. Nice. She warped near me again. No, I gotta do one more. Right up, left. Right up, right. Right. Still got time. Up right. Where? That was down. Okay. Corrupting fever. Memory game takes so long. Uh oh. She could just die. There we go. Whew. That was close. Orb of Conflict, Void Stone, Legacy of Fury. So now I get a better variety of T16 maps. For T12s, I guess I want Shipyard. I still have Dunes, Toxic like Sewers 14, Arid Lake will be 15, and then I have a couple 16s now. Oh, Atlas Passive Skill Point, throw it into Scarab Chance. And I could pull it off, but I don't have 
time today to grind out the uber elder because i now need to go clean through the stash and see if i found anything cool today we have a six link curious hire in our league now and good items i found i have a elder lion pelt with a level 20 emulate rolled not terribly lots of int open suffix cuber circle it with burning damage minion damage and spell block store those with the rest of the influenced gear fractured mana region t1 on a jade amulet that also currently has plus one level of all lightning gems fractured 50 strength on a diamond ring jewel with life sword damage chaos damage projectile damage all res fire dot lightning damage fire cold res Attack speed with swords, crit multi, one-handed melee weapon, damage over time, cold res. And there's a big armor pair of gloves with some lightning res. A pair of gloves with decent life, flat fizz, attack speed, lightning res. Gloves with life, int, fire, lightning res. A shield with open spot for percent energy shield craft with spell block there. That's only rolled 58, 66. That's a little better. Nice chunk of energy shield. Spell block, life regen. Another shield with attack block, spell block, and ailment avoid. Nothing going on with the prefixes though. And then a fossilized spirit shield plus one lightning gems, minion crit chance. Got a wand with crit chance, accuracy, T2 hybrid fizz, but only T5 flat on a tornado wand. This thing could have fat physical damage roll on it, making this a really good fizz wand potentially. It's slow though. Got a quiver that has T1 life, crit chance, alley damage if you've dealt a crit recently, cold res accuracy. No flat damage there, but potential. Got a diamond ring with a bunch of flat damage who attacks resistances, dex. Ring with life flat fizz, two resists, dex. Plus one all cold gems with big fire res, flat fizz to attacks. Life mana regen, lightning dex, gold amulet, life dot multi fire damage open prefix still on that that's pretty insane unset ring with has mana big strength cold res some chaos res other mana ring a bunch of resistances and strength life crit chance and multi with big strength amulet and huge strength dex mana ring and then for tomorrow get the last void stone from uber elder and then go running heists to run blueprints and see what is there also running heists i should get enough gcps from that to corrupt my exsanguinates i want level 21 the offhand 20 quality one and 12 quality one they're getting close to leveling but that's where i will stop for today i'd like to thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me if you'd like to help support my channel, please consider using the super thanks to the art icon just below the video or by joining to become a member. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.